Welcome back to part one. As you know that God doesn't love everybody, as I just showed you in a prior video to this. All right, uh, you have to take a mental enema. This is going to be rough <laughs> because if you're thinking about everything else you've been taught, you're going to have a problem with this. Trust God, right? In God we trust. Well, let's give it a try. What you're looking at is where the Garden of Eden supposedly sit. That red dot is where the Garden of Eden supposed to have been. Nobody really knows for sure. You read the Bible and it tells you about the four rivers. Eden had a river that flowed from it and broke into four heads. You're looking at that here. Okay, um, let's go on a little further. Let's see what I got here. Um, yeah, it's one thing I want to bring to your attention. There were no wars, okay? There was no uh, nothing until Cain killed Abel, but there was no tribes. There was no nations existed. Life began in the Middle East. I'm going to prove that too. Um, there was no captives taken. There was just pretty much peace. It was only one group of people that came from Adam. And as I said, there was no nation. So there was no tribes. There was no white folks. There was no Africans. There was just Middle Easterns. Okay, well, let's go to the table of nations. This is the table of nations. You're looking at 10 in Genesis. You start at one and work your way down to five. Five right here is starting to tell you who the Gentiles. Well, if you look at all of these names, if you didn't know, this is Europe, the entire Europe. Okay, and um, when you see down here, you see Africa. That's the guy, Ham, is the progenitor, the creator of all the races in Africa. This guy here, Japheth, is the progenitor of all the races in Europe. So they came from Noah. Noah had three sons. So stop with the lies. Like I say, take an enema and detox your brain. Three sons came from Noah, Japheth, Ham, and Shem. They created the entire world. All the races came from their perspective land. All right. Galatians 4 and 26. This is telling you who the motherland is. And that would be Jerusalem. 